IEC 60870 Part 5 is one of the IEC 60870 set of standards which define systems used for telecontrol in electrical engineering and power system automation applications. Part 5 provides a communication profile for sending basic telecontrol messages between two systems, which uses permanent directly connected data circuits between the systems. The IEC Technical Committee 57 have developed a protocol standard for telecontrol, teleprotection, and associated telecommunications for electric power systems. The result of this work is IEC 60870 5. Five documents specify the base IEC 60870 5. IEC 60870 5 1 transmission frame formats. IEC 60870-5-2 Data Link Transmission Services, IEC 60870-5-3 General Structure of Application Data, IEC 60870-5-4 Definition and Coding of Information Elements, IEC 60870-5-5 Basic Application Functions, IEC 60870-5-6 Guidelines for Conformance Testing for the IEC 60870-5 Companion Standards, the IEC Technical Committee 57 has also generated companion standards, IEC 60870-5-101 Transmission Protocols, Companion Standards especially for basic telecontrol tasks. IEC 60870-5-102 Companion Standard for the Transmission of Integrated Totals in Electric Power Systems, IEC 60870-5-103 Transmission Protocols, Companion Standard for the Informative Interface of Protection Equipment, IEC 60870-5-100 for Transmission Protocols, Network access for IEC 60870-5-101 using standard transport profiles, IEC 60870-5-101103 over 104 are companion standards generated for basic telecontrol tasks, transmission of integrated totals, data exchange from protection equipment and network access of IEC 101 respectively. IEC 60870-5-101, IEC 60870-5-101, IEC 101, is a standard for power system monitoring, control and associated communications for telecontrol, teleprotection, and associated telecommunications for electric power systems. This is completely compatible with IEC May 1, 6870 to IEC May 5, 6870 standards and uses standard asynchronous serial teal control channel interface between DTE and DCE. The standard is suitable for multiple configurations like point-to-point, -point, star, muted dropped etc. Equals features equals, supports unbalanced and balanced modes of data transfer. Link address and ASDU addresses are provided for classifying the end station and different segments under the same. Data is classified into different information objects and each information object is provided with a specific address. Facility to classify the data into high priority and low priority and transfer the same using separate mechanisms. Possibility of classifying the data into different groups to get the data according to the group by issuing specific group interrogation commands from the master and obtaining data under all the groups by issuing a general interrogation. Cyclic and spontaneous data updating schemes are provided. Facility for time synchronization, schemes for transfer of files example, IEDs will store disturbance record a file in the memory, when electrical disturbance is occurred in the field. This file can be retrieved through IEC 103 protocol for fault analysis. Equals frame format equals, character format of IEC 101 uses one start bit, one stop bit, one parity bit and eight data bits. FT 1.2 is used for frame format of IEC 101 which is suitable for asynchronous communication with Hamming distance of 4. This uses three types of frame formats. Frame with variable length ASDU, frame with fixed length and single character. Single character is used for acknowledgments, 
fixed length frames are used for commands and variable lengths are used for sending data. The details of variable length frame is given below. Equals type supported equals single indication without slash with 24 slash with 56 bit timestamps. Double indication without slash with 24 slash with 56 bit timestamps. Step position information without slash with 24 slash with 56 bit timestamps. Measured value euro normalized, scaled, short floating point without slash with timestamps. Bit string of 32 bit without slash with timestamps. Integrated totals without slash with timestamps. Packed events of protection equipments, single commands, double commands, regulating step command, set point commands of various data formats, bit string commands, interrogation commands, clock synchronization and delay acquisition commands, test and reset commands. IEC 60870-5-103, IEC 60870-5-103, IEC 103, is a standard for power system control and associated communications. It defines a companion standard that enables interoperability between protection equipment and devices of a control system in a substation. The device complying with this standard can send the information using two methods for data transfer, either using the explicitly specified application service data on it or using generic services for transmission of all the possible information. The standard supports some specific protection functions and provides the vendor a facility to incorporate its own protective functions on private data ranges. Equals frame format equals IEC 103 uses FT 1.2 for frame format having options of frame with variable length, frame with fixed length and single character similar to IEC 101. Single character is used for acknowledgments, fixed length frames are used for commands and variable lengths are used for sending data. However the frame format of IEC 103 differs from IEC 101 in information object address which is split into function type and information number in IEC 103. Also IEC 103 can have only single information object in a frame whereas IEC 101 can have multiple information objects. Many of the field sizes are also restricted in IEC 103. The details of variable length frame is given below equals supported types equals type 1 a euro time tagged message type 2 a euro time tagged message with relative time type 3 a euro me assurance i type 4 a euro time tagged me assurance with relative time type 5 a euro identification type 6 a euro time synchronization type 7 a euro start of general interrogation type 8 a euro general interrogation termination type 9 a euro me assurance 2 Type 10 a Euro generic data, type 11 a Euro generic identification, type 23 a Euro 31 a Euro used for transferring disturbance files. IEC 60870-5-104, IEC 60870-5-104 IEC protocol is an extension of IEC 101 protocol with the changes in transport, network link and physical layer services to suit the complete network access. The standard uses an open TCP IP interface to network to have connectivity to the LAN and routers with different facility can be used to connect to the one. Application layer of IEC 104 is preserved same as that of IEC 101 with some of the data types and facilities not used. There are two separate link layers defined in the standard which is suitable for data transfer over Ethernet and serial line. The control field data of IEC 104 contains various types of mechanisms for effective handling of network data synchronization. The security of IEC 104, by design has been proven to be problematic, as many of the other SCADA protocols developed around the same time. Though the IEC Technical Committee 57 have published a security standard IEC 62351, which implements end-to-end -end encryption which would prevent such attacks as replay, man-in-the-middle and packet injection. Unfortunately due to the increase in complexity vendors are reluctant to roll this out on their networks. References External links, J60870, 
IEC 60870-5-104 Client and Server Java Library at OpenMuke.org, GPL Licensed, 1, IEC 60870-5-104103 Simulator